cold. Why don't you put on a jacket? Where's your jacket? Because I want to look cute. <laughs> oh, God. I've been working out these arms, so, you know, watch this. It's going to be really corny, but how you like these guns? <laughs> yeah, that was corny. <laughs> What are you in the mood for? Dang, Tia. Your boobs are huge. I know, stop! Don't touch. God, you're worse than a guy. You're just like constantly looking at my boobs. I'm not stop, doing it on Tamira. purpose. Stop, You're making me feel insecure. My C-section is in two weeks, and I'm trying to tie up all these loose ends. I'm running around like crazy, but today I just want to spend some time with my sister. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Tia. I've been spending a lot of time with Adam. What do you expect? I'm a newlywed. And I've actually been getting a little worried about that with you. Why? I just feel like there should be a balance. Do you know what I mean? You well, shouldn't have anything to should... worry about. The reason why I'm saying worry is because when you get married, you don't want to lose other avenues and stuff that's going on in your life. Ever since Tamara got engaged, I've noticed a change in her. She stopped acting, and her main focus is on her relationship. And I'm concerned because I don't want her to lose her identity. I think it's healthy to have a balance. I want to enjoy that bliss when you first get married. And I don't want any distractions. I want to really enjoy that. And that's where we're different. But you can enjoy that and, see, and work I can. at the same time. There are mm. millions of women that do it every single day. We just think differently. You are the hustler, the go-getter, but I've always been go with the flow kind of a girl, and what's right for me will, will, will come to me. It takes time to build your career, and you don't want to lose the momentum. That's all. It's been six months since I've been on an audition. I've been planning my wedding, enjoying being a newlywed, and I don't know if I'm ready to jump back into the whole audition process. We've been acting nonstop since we were like 11. Even if we weren't on a show, we were auditioning or pitching. Yeah. And in a way, I just wanted to feel normal. <laughs> but taking a break from acting for six months when the industry is so competitive right now is not normal. Talking to my sister was a wake-up call. I really want to focus on my marriage, but I can't put my career off any longer. I have to get back to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Come on, come on. I haven't seen my acting coach, Raphael, in almost a year. I just want to talk to him about working through some of my anxiety about getting back into acting. This could be quite interesting. I just can't wait to dive in. Yeah. The only thing that I'm hesitant about is right. sometimes the stress of auditioning and the rejection can get to me. It's really intense. There's no other career in the world where you have a minute and 30 seconds in a room. Mm-hmm. The door opens. People are not necessarily very friendly in the room. Mm -hmm. You have to stick the landing, and then you, and then you yeah. leave, and right? And then you leave. And yeah. then essentially your life changes or doesn't. It doesn't. It's a weird thing. It's hard work. It's really about having an extraordinary relationship with both rejection and anxiety at all times. <laughs> OK, can I just tell you? <laughs> what? You said the magical word, because it's the anxiety. In a way, you sort of have to become a student of your own anxiety to know that it's also energy, to Got know it. that it can actually sort of be sort of more horsepower in your, in your, so you in your engine. Use if you, it's like threading a needle. You know, you, yeah. you get the needle and you go, you try and get it through. You don't yeah. go, oh, God, I yeah. suck. No, you just, <laughs> you just do this and you just keep trying to get it through. Yeah. The other thing is when I go in for like 35, 36 year old roles, they say I do things by the book, you know, they can tell that I obey, <laughs> kind of, you know, if you give me some You're a role, good soldier. I'm right. a good soldier, yeah. yes. My mom's a drill sergeant for crying out loud, so I think one of the struggles I always face is the fact that I'm a little bit more passive and lenient in real life. But now is the time to be confident and find my strength as a wife and an actress. I really want to make sure that I can really, really be a woman. And that working from there is going to give you a sense of kind of a strength. And that strength will then translate then into your ability to sort of go to those older roles. Yeah, and I can't wait, honestly, because I don't want to play that. I want to be that. And I think you, you help me with that. Adam is gone. He had to do a 
a story. My husband Adam is a news correspondent and he's away on assignment. So here I am home with a newlywed bug and no hubby. And when does he come back? Uh, tomorrow. Mmm, that'll be the best uh, reunion ever, right? Thanks, Sherry. <laughs> what? I was gonna say kiss and a hug. We're newlyweds. There's no kissing and hugging. <laughs> Can I just say something? Hmm. I'm gonna be real personal. You get really sore. Well, yeah, I would think. Oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> Not talking about working out with your trainer. Yeah, well, she's working out something. <laughs> wow, Sherry. <laughs> you know Adam is gonna kill me for telling you guys this. Oh, but that's good for him, though, because if he's making you sore, that means a wild man. I missed you girls. I really have. Seriously. So what are we doing? Where are we going? I need a drink. <laughs> Adam has no idea we're driving this car, FYI. But I figure, what's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine, babe. Right? This is my first night out being a married woman. Without your hubby? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get? Guava sin. You would get guava sin. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is good. Here, try this. Don't spill. Oh, jeez. That's good. Uh huh. What are you girls getting into tonight? <laughs> jeez. What's your favorite thing about being married so far? It's you're waking up next to someone and you're going to sleep next to someone. Aww. Have you ever faked it yet? Sherry! I am proud to say no, I haven't. <laughs> Let's cheers to that. How is work going? I took the break from acting before, you know, I, I got married. <laughs> My fear is once I start that whole process over again, I won't like it. You won't like acting anymore? I won't like the process. And it's usually a lot of rejection. It's right? a lot of rejection. And I feel a lot of pressure right now because my sister's working. Because we're twins, they group us together. Right. So they're like, Tia's working, what are you doing? And I'm like, it must be hard to hear that all the time. Yeah. But because there is that pressure, it's like, what if I don't book anything when I come back? You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's scary. I it is scary. Don't envy you. I know I should start auditioning again, but with so few roles being casted right now, it's hard to stay optimistic. We'll see. You're I just have to <laughs> look. See, this no, is what it does. Wait, you're not there yet. Right now, we're gonna relax and have fun. Yeah, please. That's gonna relax you. Yep. <laughs> the doctor's orders. <laughs> Down them. Doing. Oh, hair. Oh. <laughs> I miss doing sister sister with you. That was so much fun. Jack A played my sister's mom on Sister Sister, and she taught me everything that I need to know about comedy. I think she's a great mentor, and she's someone I respect. And I thought she would be the perfect person to help me figure out what roles I should be auditioning for. So I have a question, Jack A, um, because you know now I'm an adult. I know you're saying, oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. It's a horrible thing. It's a completely different um, game, and there's a lot more competition. And then T and I, like, people still kind of clump us in, you know, being the little girls from Sister Sister. I'm gonna look young like this a long time. It's yes. genetic, I'm gonna tell you. Black don't, don't crack. crack. Yeah, do you know but I still genetic. say that. But it's genetic, ages in the body for somebody that looks younger. Yeah. You gotta, yeah, you gotta come in not so young. You see, that's my essence. That's who I am, Jackie. Do you know what Once I mean? acting, my dear. <laughs> Casting directors only see me as this young comedic actress, and there are so many actors auditioning for that exact same role. Tia has established herself as a serious actress because of the game. And also, she's been seen in lingerie. Her butt was out, child. Just say it. Child, I was shocked. <laughs> okay. Um, but for me, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me to do the exact same thing. And I don't want to do the exact same thing. I want to be me. It's like the Joy Luck Club. You've got to know your own worth. So 
do I just continue to do what I do? Or do I go away and wait till it happens? Or do I try to move into what's hot right now, which is all the dramas, the PI shows? The only reason not to take a job is if you're sick or yeah. dead. <laughs> it's gonna come around, but you're gonna have to develop one more facet to your personality. That's why I always play princesses, and I'm always just the goody two-shoes, and I'm always, because I can do that with my eyes closed. A lot of those characters now are those flawed human beings. You got flaws. You have a mean side, and by that, you know, I don't mean mean, but you have a side no, that you don't take no crap. But I love to smile, Jack A. Give up smiling. I can't. Well, you just got married. I know. I can give up smiling. Huh, huh. I said, I'm a bit of these days. <laughs> See? And I'm not really. You know I'm not. Mm -hmm. But I, I, you know, I've made some choices and I question them. And that's what flawed means. You see, that's the thing. But I, I made, made flaws, them. but I don't really like people to know about those flaws. Oh, you must admit it. Yeah. It's character development. You've got to admit it. Well, I let my family know about it, but what I'm saying no, is. No, you got to let yourself know. Yeah. You got to sit on the edge of the bathtub and go, ooh, blew that audition. I blew that. Yeah, and I need to be fine with that. Both Jack A and my acting coach are encouraging me to move out of my comfort zone. I've been known as the nice girl. Now it's time for me to bring out the other side. I really appreciate you helped me out so much. Really? You did. It's gonna click in. Dude, what was that? Gone, <laughs> gone. Mm -mm, I thought that was cheese. That's not cheese. Oh, what is this? Oh, is that an artichoke? I think it's an artichoke card, exactly. <laughs> you can take that. Charm, why don't you take it? You go ahead, give it to your dog. <laughs> <laughs> the dog won't like it. <laughs> it is. You know how I put acting on a hold? Yes. I think I'm ready to start back up. You know, back getting back into yeah. life now that you're uh, Mrs. Housley. Yeah. So what's the plan? I don't know. Now that I'm a married woman, I feel a lot more mature. Yeah. I really want to do something different. Like how different? You know, like some serious drama work. After talking with Jack A, I thought this would be a perfect time to focus more on dramatic roles. I'm mostly known for my comedy. That's my comfort zone. I did you know, like Strong Medicine, that was a drama, but I mean like a serious, like, drama, or maybe even like a guest role where I'm a crackhead or something. What would you be your most ideal role, or even as a guest spot? Like, who would, where I'm would serious, like a crackhead. I think you do a great job. <laughs> I think <laughs> You're right, I think you would. No, I know. I don't really know how it really works, but have you started to... Acting classes? Well, or no, I'm not talking like... about acting classes, but I meant, like, have you contact people? Do they contact you? Like, Well, basically, what I have to do is just call my manager... Okay. ...and tell them that I'm ready. And when is it going to happen? Tomorrow? I'm working on that. I know that I want to transition to dramatic roles, but I'm not ready to have my manager send me out on auditions just yet. I just want to make sure I'm prepared. I just want to get to a place where I feel confident and I want to make sure that I'm in the right headspace when I start. Glad you called. This is for you. <laughs> if you decide to accept this mission, right? Before I start reading for more dramatic roles, I wanted to make sure I was in tip-top shape. So I went back to Raphael to work on a little bit more scene work and more characters that are flawed. I see interrogation room. Yep, yep, I'm, and you're the interrogator. All right. And you're not funny, you're not being silly, you're not telling jokes, you can actually sort of speak from And I'm not smiling. And you're not smiling. <laughs> she, She's a tough cookie. She's tough. This is an exercise for you to kind yes. of see where you can find this strength that we've okay. been talking about, yeah. and a woman who is, in this case, uh, not sensitive, not emotional. Not me at all. Let's just hear it out loud. OK. Once. You've got a choice. You tell me what you saw. You testify against him and we'll look the... Go ahead. You're doing I great. think I'm out of it. No, you're doing great. <laughs> I'm not really connecting. It's not about the words. It's really about kind of this drive that you have yeah. to get this guy to break. Okay. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. 
Look, um, I know my rights. So you gonna charge me with something or can I leave? Because I am not saying anything until my lawyer gets here. You know your rights. I know your rights too. Who do you think knows them better? I, I like that you sort of came in trying to be warm and empathetic with him. Yeah, because I, like I wanted it. to. But, but I wanted to go in from that angle, and I wanted the scene to have an arc. I would slap him first. Really? Slap you him think? First. You, okay. Who do you think knows your? And then do the do the good okay, cop. Okay, so you want do the me bad right cop. out of the gate. I like to try that. It's a direction. You know your rights. I know your rights too. Who do you think knows them better? This guy's got to know that he can't be just got sort it. of willy nilly. Yeah. You think you know the law? Yeah. You think you know more than I do? Yeah. Sit back. Do you want, do you want to try some of that? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Look, um, I know my rights. So you gonna charge me with something or can I leave? Because I am not saying anything until my lawyer gets here. You know your rights? I know your rights too. Who do you think knows them better? You want to know what I do know? Let's stop for a second. Okay. I know it scares you when I said like, I want you to be a little stronger with yeah. him. So, you want me to be stronger? I want you to turn up the heat about who it is you're fighting for. The only thing that's stopping bad from winning is you. Okay, I may cry because I feel uncomfortable being that way. Okay? Why, why do you think you feel uncomfortable? I don't know, because it's uncomfortable. I totally get that. <sighs> In the world, not as an actor, mm -hmm. but as a, as a person, you have authority all the time. I do, but sometimes I don't practice that and I always get stepped on. So I haven't practiced my authority. So isn't it interesting what we're working on in our life is also within what we're working on? That's why I like acting though. Yeah, of course. And, and if it were easy, um, it wouldn't be nearly this interesting, would it? I want you to somehow embrace this part of yourself. I want you to see how strong you are. If you know that it's not about the show of strength, but actually the, the fighting for something. Got it. Okay, so just take that moment before, make sure you've got a clear mental image about who it is you're talking for. Make it about her. Don't make it about you. I've always been seen as the more passive twin, but now that I'm married, I feel my confidence is growing and I need to tie that into my acting. Uh, I know my rights, you know, so you gonna charge me something or can I leave? Because I mean, I'm not gonna say anything until my lawyer gets here. You know your rights? I know your rights too. Who do you think knows them better? You wanna know what else I know? I know you've got the half dozen priors I can make stick or go away. I also know you saw the shooter. And I know he's your friend too. So why don't you just let me go before my lawyer gets here and makes you- Tell me what you saw. Nothing. Tell me what you saw. It was great. It was great. That humanity that's yours, that's yeah. Tamara's, that, that carrying that huge heart that's yours, yeah. coupled then with that fierceness, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. By having that great feedback from Raphael, it just gave me that extra push to just go out there and own it. I'm. I'm really excited about what's next. Just like, here are the keys, take the Ferrari, because you're just gonna blast off. <laughs> I love that Raphael. Seriously. <laughs>